For a second, imagine you are a homeowner and you want to create a system that sends, executes, and enforces a rent contract with your tenant. You can of course attach the document to an email like a Gmail account or share it on Dropbox. But here you are trusting Google or Dropbox that they do not use this information in any way. Let's say you have no problem with that. But how do you collect the rent? The tenant basically transferred the money to you through a bank account. So here again, you are trusting the banking system. Also, how do you enforce it? If the renter didn't pay the rent on time, you need to go to the Department of Justice, another central authority, to enforce it. So for every single action, you are relying on a central authority. What if you can create a system which you can do all of these actions without a central authority? Or let me put it in this way. What if you can create your own decentralized system that can reach a decision without a central authority? To do so, in the case of our example, first you need to visit the tenant in person and hand over the contract. This can be time consuming or you can establish a peer-to-peer -peer digital communication to send the contract. Then you need to secure this to make sure no one from outside can mess with it. So you need to learn and use cryptography. But wait, how do you remove bank from this game? You can actually stop by your place every month and collect cash, which is, by the way, is issued by a central bank and it has its own problems. Or you can collect goods in exchange for the rent. But this is not convenient. Even that, how do you enforce the contract? What if the tenant doesn't pay the rent on time? So you need to have a gang of troublemakers to kick the tenant out. So as you might guess, creating your own decentralized system is very difficult. Ethereum solved this problem for you. First thing first, what is Ether in the name? Ether refers to a hypothetical invisible medium that spreads across the universe and allows light to travel. The founder wanted his platform to be on the lying medium for all the applications running on top of it. Ethereum is basically do-it-yourself platform for dApps or decentralized applications. So in essence, Ethereum is the infrastructure to connect people directly to each other. The applications are usually referred to as a smart contract. They can be rent agreements, real estate ownership, or even gaming applications. You name it. Think about it. What is contract? Contract is basically a bunch of conditional statements. To implement them, you need a programming language called Solidity. So you use Solidity to write a smart contract, then you deploy it to the Ethereum decentralized network. Next question is how Ethereum came to life. Well, after Bitcoin was invented, people realized money transfer can be decentralized and you don't need a central authority like banks or government to control and manage transactions. Then people started thinking what other part of society can be decentralized? What about voting? We don't need a central authority to count the votes and tell us who is the winner. What about contract and legal stuff? So that's how the revolution got started. The next question is, what is the secret sauce here? Well, the short answer is blockchain technology, which interestingly enough is a byproduct of Bitcoin. If you're not familiar with blockchain, please watch my video on this concept. Last question is, if the secret sauce is basically blockchain, so what is all this fuss about and what is the difference between Bitcoin and Ethereum? Bitcoin is a decentralized payment system to just transfer digital money, i.e. Bitcoin. Ethereum is a platform, or to put it simply, is a decentralized supercomputer that not only can be used to transfer digital money, called Ether in the case of Ethereum, but also manages smart contracts. Ethereum opened a new realm of possibilities which is actually mind-blowing. One interesting example is non-fungible tokens or NFT. I have also a video on NFT if you're interested to know more. So let's wrap up this video by going back to our example. You write the contract in Solidity. The contract defines a bunch of statements and actions. For example, the rent is one Ether per month. Then you deploy it on the network. 
Once it's executed, it becomes immutable, so no one, even the author, can change it. So the code is law. The network is self-checking if the money has been received or not. If not, the action you defined is to deactivate the card so the tenant cannot enter the property. Of course, this is a bit harsh, but you get the picture. In the next video, I will explain more details on how Ethereum works. If you are interested to know more, please subscribe to my channel to stay tuned. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon.